already in St. Benedict's Day and even before, so more than 1,500 years ago, there was a tradition of young people uh, being educated in monasteries. Now, obviously, that looked a lot different to uh, the way a school looks nowadays, uh, but it points to the fact that the tradition of people entrusting their young people to the care of monastic communities for their education is a really old and venerable and, I think, uh, worthy uh, tradition. Um, St. Benedict himself, of course, referred to the monastery as a school of the Lord's service. And we indeed have those words in Latin emblazoned uh, on the wall just inside school reception. Now, he was referring to the monastic community itself, to the monastery, to the life, uh, but there is sort of a, uh, a correspondence uh, with the school in that in calling a monastery a school of the Lord's service, Benedict was saying that there was merit, that there was wisdom, that there was real value in life lived in community where the pursuit of wisdom and knowledge and ultimately meaning was carried out with others in community. So I think there's a natural affinity then uh, between a monastery and running a school, particularly a boarding school. There are many of us working here in various different capacities, some like me in administration, some teaching, uh, some obviously providing chaplaincy and other uh, pastoral services. But in many ways, what we do uh, is less important uh, than who we are, uh, and that we are bringing some of that uh, tradition, that culture uh, from, the, fr from across the yard uh, into the school. Uh, because many parts of school life are the same everywhere. You study your subjects, you play your games, you uh, learn your musical instrument, you take part in the school play, uh, but it's the culture in which that takes place that's distinctive. Uh, and very much uh, uh, the rhythm of life as lived in the monastery uh, shapes the life that's lived over here. Um, I'm always struck by an account of the early church uh, and uh, in the writings of St. Justin, uh, where he's describing the Sunday assembly and after the readings, it says that the one who is presiding stands up and invites those present into the pattern of these good things. I think that's very much uh, what we're about here. Uh, we are accompanying the students who are here, accompanying them through their educational journey, through their life journey. Uh, we are presenting the Christian faith uh, as we know it and have received it to them in a gentle but very warmly inviting way, inviting them into the pattern of these good things. And I think that's well worth doing.